What is Tau Sigma Delta? Honor Society Foundation, a trusted authority in the Honor Society space, will walk you through Tau Sigma Delta. So what are the requirements to be a part of Tau Sigma Delta? Tau Sigma Delta Honor Society recognizes intellectual achievement, effort, initiative, as well as leadership and character in architecture and allied arts. This prize of membership acknowledges undergraduate students and graduate students who attain high scholastic standing in their field. The organization also honors practitioners in the field for excellence of design with the National Organization's Gold Medal Award, which is presented each spring at the ACSA annual meeting. But what is the history of Tau Sigma Delta, you may ask? Tau Sigma Delta was organized in the year 1913 at the University of Michigan at the suggestion and guidance of the faculty in architecture and landscape design, who selected the first group of senior honor students to be the founding member. Now after three years of trial, the system of elections was extended to other universities. It overcame the obstacles of World War I and the resulting world after the war ended. They even managed to weather World War II as a society. Progress was delayed by these crucial tests of times, and four of its chapters became inactive, yet the society emerged strengthened by these tests. So what are the key benefits of being a member of Tau Sigma Delta? The presence of an Honor Society chapter on campus will encourage students towards their quest to achieve excellence. An Honor Society is a great way to celebrate deserving students who are already excellent in their fields. This is also a great way to create connections in architecture, landscape, and anything else in this field of study. Most importantly, the networking that you'll have available to you within this field is invaluable. Based on the information, here is our review. Observation number one is that while many societies have their own forms of recognition, this society presents the gold medal award, and that is how they determine who is the most excellent among the sea of excellent applicants. Observation number two is that the society invites its members to join at the ACSA meeting to network with other people within their field so that they can strengthen those bonds prior to graduating. Our third observation is that we thought it was really cool how the society managed to weather World War I and World War II. That was just about the time that it was getting its feet off the ground and to see that it's still alive and thriving today is very, very encouraging for other honor societies as well. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us and stay tuned for more honor society reviews.